Welcome to Unit 6, Lesson 3. Today we're going to be talking about the accessory organs and regulation of the digestive system. And we're going to divide it into Part 1 and Part 2 video. And Part 1 is going to cover the structure and function of the pancreas and will be mandatory. And then Part 2 will look at the liver and the gallbladder and be optional because we'll be covering it in class. As well, we're also going to look at how the liver and pancreas work together to regulate blood glucose levels and explain how hormones regulate digestion. So let's start with the pancreas. And the pancreas is this organ right here. Sort of, it lies tucked away in behind the small intestine. And there's two key details of this. You have the pancreas itself and then you have all these little tube ways that join together and eventually feed into the small intestine. So the little tubes are called the pancreatic ducts. and they simply collect pancreatic juices as they're made by the pancreas and deliver them to the small intestine SI for small intestine and today we're going to look at the function of the pancreas which falls into two key functions or two classes of functions the first is what we call exocrine Exocrine refers to the release of enzymes, so the E's go together, exocrine and enzyme, though that's not going to be the best trick. They release, or it refers to the release of enzymes slash pancreatic juices. into the ducts and small intestine. And the pancreatic juices have five key components. And we mentioned these when we were talking about the chemical digestion but we're going to review them again here so first we have sodium bicarbonate ions NA2HCO3 which is basic And serves to neutralize C 
acidic chyme. That enters the small intestine via the stomach. Because remember, the small intestine's function is to absorb, and if it's going to do that, it can't have the mucus layer to protect it from the action of the acid, so we have to neutralize it using secretions from the small intestine. Then we have secretions that are involved, enzymes, in digesting a variety of biological molecules. So the first one is pancreatic amylases and their primary function is to digest starch and glycogen to maltose Then we have trypsinogen. Which is the inactive in enzyme. Trypsinogen becomes active in small intestine due to pH and an enzyme called enterokinase. So enterokinase actually alters the structure of trypsinogen so that it's active. And active form is simply called trypsin. And its job is to digest proteins to peptides. And there are a couple other enzymes involved in digesting proteins to peptides, but trypsinogen is the key one you guys need to be aware of. Then we have lipases. which digest fats to glycerol plus blank blank how many three give you a chance to figure it out you said fatty acids you're correct in our last category, look at it, we've looked at lipases, pro so fats, breakdown of proteins, breakdown of carbohydrates, what's our last class? If you came up with nucleases, you are correct. Nucleases to digest nucleic acids. nucleotides. And all those enzymes mix together with the bicarbonate ions to be secreted into the small intestine and that's called the exocrine function. But as well we have endocrine functions. We talked about the endocrine system briefly. We talked about the neuroendocrine system involving the pituitary. 
and in this case the pancreas has an endocrine function because it is able to release what are or what does endocrine refer to it releases blank into the blood to influence other organs this time we're not talking about enzymes but start with an H if you figured out hormones awesome and in particular two hormones that we're going to take further look at once we talk about the liver because they coordinate with the liver it releases insulin when blood sugar is too high and it releases glucagon when blood sugar is too low So those are the two main functions of the pancreas, exocrine and endocrine. And that's the end of the mandatory portion of the video. If you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in class.